top 10 best crime series on Netflix. Need to dive into a good mystery or follow a fascinating case? There are tons of great crime series available on Netflix. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of the video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 best crime series on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, Good Girls. What do you do when it feels like the whole world is against you? Rob a grocery store, apparently. Good Girls is a crime comedy drama that first aired on NBC for four seasons. The show follows the lives of three suburban moms who are struggling to make ends meet. As pressures both financial and emotional pile up, the trio decides to rob a grocery store. But this is no straightforward heist series, oh no. As it turns out, the money they stole belongs to a violent street gang and things soon snowball into chaos. The three lead actors are excellent in this show, and Christina Hendricks, in particular, is a delight to watch. With a well-balanced mix of laughter and tears, Good Girls is the perfect watch for when you want a crime series with a healthy dose of humor. Number 9. Money Heist Possibly one of Netflix's most successful shows ever, Money Heist is a crime drama that revolves around two heists and an internally endearing cast of characters. Those characters are a huge part of why Money Heist has managed to find fans around the world. From the badass protagonist Tokyo, Ursula Cobero, to the genius master criminal known as the Professor, Alvaro Morati, each person in the story presents a sincere, multi-layered story. But of course, the real reason we love Money Heist so much is because of the exciting game of cat and mouse that is involved in the show's ambitious heists. Set in Madrid, the story follows the professor as he brings together a group of eight people to break into the Royal Mint of Spain, take 67 people hostage, and execute an intricate plan with life and death hanging in the balance. After the first season, the crew returns for an even more daring robbery with higher stakes than ever before. It doesn't get much better than this. Number 8. Who Killed Sarah? Netflix's collection of Spanish-language content boasts quite a few great thrillers, and Who Killed Sarah is one of the best of them. Alex Guzman, Manolo Cardora, is a former convict who spent 18 years in prison after being falsely convicted for his sister Sarah's murder. Devoted to getting revenge for her death and his subsequent imprisonment, Guzman looks for the truth about the incident. In the process, he comes into conflict with the wealthy Lascano family. The show has its issues, but this hit Mexican drama is a very engaging watch, especially if you're in the mood for a good revenge thriller. Number 7. Unbelievable Set in two different countries, Unbelievable is based on the true story of two police detectives chasing after a serial rapist who has terrorized women in both their state of Colorado and also in Washington. A difficult show to watch at times, we follow not only these two detectives, but the story of Marie Adler, Caitlin Dever, a survivor of sexual assault who is believed to be lying about her rape. The police, who think she's just crying wolf, let the monster slip through their fingers to terrorize more victims. In a field dominated by men, it is detectives Rasmussen, Tony Collette, and Duval, Merritt Weaver, who crack the case. The approach both Collette and Weaver take to their characters emulate confidence, empathy, and a hard-boiled nature. Entrancing to watch, it's easy to root for these detectives to get justice for these women. Number 6. Elite Elite get your heart racing from start to finish, never letting the tension break even for a second. About a group of students from an upper-class school in Spain who get entangled in a murder. Elite bets on the mystery relationships to bring you back, and it does. Sometimes being larger than life pays off, and it does more often than not for Elite. With a new mystery every season, Elite shocks at every turn. And while it might sometimes get lost in the ambition, it is over-the-top television at its best and one of the easiest shows to lose yourself in. Number 5. Peaky Blinders Peaky Blinders is historical fiction at its finest. The BBC crime drama takes a fictionalized approach to the story of the titular real-life gang, which was active in England from the 1890s to the 1910s. The show begins in 1919, just after the First World War. After the blinders accidentally come across a consignment of guns and choose to steal them, the government sends a detective to find the thieves and recover the weapons. The first season focuses on the plot of the weapons and the investigation into the blinders' activities. Later seasons push the story to new heights, bringing in more historical figures and tying into important events. Cillian Murphy stars as Tommy Shelby, the charismatic and ruthless leader of the Peaky Blinders, delivering a brilliant performance that combines a cold, calculating exterior with a sense of hidden ferocity. 
Peaky Blinders is easily one of Murphy's most memorable performances, but the series also features a number of great actors in both main and recurring roles. The show is easily one of the most popular series on Netflix. Number 4. The Sinner Based on Petra Hamsfar's 1999 novel of the same name, The Sinner is an anthology mystery series that has received widespread acclaim over the course of its four seasons. The show follows the case of Detective Harry Ambrose, Bill Pullman, a police officer who finds himself investigating cases that involve seemingly unlikely criminals and buried motivations. It's a dark and gritty series. Each season consists of eight episodes exploring a single complex crime, with a cast of celebrated actors portraying the major players in each case. The Sinner is by far one of the best shows on Netflix and certainly worth checking out for crime drama fans. Number 3. Ozarks One of Netflix's most successful crime shows, Ozarks stars Jason Bateman and Laura Linney as a married couple who get involved in the dangerous business of money laundering. After a deal with a Mexican drug cartel goes south, financial advisor Marty Beer, Jason Bateman, offers to set up a money laundering operation in the lake of the Ozarks region in central Missouri. He relocates there with his wife, Wendy, Laura Linney, and their two kids. But soon, Marty and Wendy find themselves drawn into the affairs of the local underworld, which makes their already tense situation even more complicated. Ozarks has received a lot of critical praise and has been nominated for a ton of awards, with both Jason Bateman and Julia Garner winning Emmys for their performances. Number 2. Mindhunter A crime show executive produced by David Fincher should be reason enough to check out Mindhunter. But how about the fact that it's one of TV's best shows in recent memory? It's a bit like Silence of the Lambs in that it follows two FBI agents from the FBI's Behavioral Science Unit, Holden Ford, Jonathan Groff, and Bill Tench, Holt McElhaney, as they set out to interview in prison serial killers to see if they can understand why they did what they did to help create a profile for the FBI to catch these kinds of killers. Set in the 1970s and inspired by true events, this is a crime show steeped in real history that offers a lot to chew on. Number 1. Collateral The BBC-produced crime drama series Collateral is unique for a few reasons. One, it's a crime show featuring a female lead. Two, it's a close-ended four-hour story. And three, it actually delights in nuance instead of simply following a standard procedural format. Hailing from writer David Hare, The Hours, and director S.J. Clarkson, Jessica Jones, the story follows Carrie Mulligan as a confident detective in London who's tasked with investigating the murder of a pizza delivery man who may be an immigrant or refugee. But a simple murder investigation reveals a web of intrigue and a catter of characters enter the frame that dimensionalizes the entire story. Thematically, the story digs deep into issues of immigration and racial tensions in a post-Brexit England, but it is not without flashes of joy and humor, so in total, it's an entertaining and meaty watch. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.